Good morning. Joey Sparks here. This is your reminder that God's mercies are new once again this morning. Paul is on trial in Acts 24, this one before Felix, the Roman governor. And he gets a chance to teach him about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Felix brings his wife, who's got a Jewish background. And the text tells us that he spoke to him about faith in Christ Jesus. By the end of this, we're told that Felix has some different motives. He wants Paul to funnel some money to him. If you'll take care of me, I'll give you some some extra protection here in your custody. And Paul never does that. Felix saw this connection to the church as a way to make some more money, a way to, to have some more benefits from his constituents. And that's not uncommon in a government level in our own nation that Christians or Christianity or the church are viewed as kind of a special interest group. And if you'll funnel us money, we'll protect your desires. We'll we'll try to give you what you want. But it's also, also a strong danger on a very personal level. That for some, the preaching of Christ, the church, they're just um, a means to give us something. A means to make us feel better a means to help us fit in, a means to help us accomplish something that we want to accomplish. But it's much greater than that. And that's what Paul reasons with Felix about. He reasons with him about righteousness and about self-control and about the coming judgment. And the connection of those three things is powerful because righteousness comes from God. Righteousness never changes There is always right. And when we desire righteousness, it's going to demand self-control. Clearly, Felix was not a man of self-control. It demands us keeping it in between the lines. And then there's the coming judgment, a time in which we will be held accountable for whether or not we exercise self-control to that standard of righteousness. We need to view the Lord and the system of faith, the gospel, not as a means to our ends, but instead the blessing of God, the end of the matter. Here is God's will. It is finished. We go to him and we're thankful he gives his righteousness. And we exercise self-control to obey and be faithful and to seek him. We anticipate a coming judgment in which he will bless us because we are in his son. We thank you for your time. It's our prayer that the timeless Word of God will be your meditation all day today. I woke up this morning.